on a Saturday. It will be facilitated by our pastor, as well as the board members and trustees will be here. Uh, October 22nd is the men's department anniversary. That's a Sunday evening. If you have any questions pertaining to that, please see the president, who is uh, Deacon Robert Strauss. And then on October 27th, uh, there is a church meeting. Uh, and it is at 8 p.m.
great have our choir coming forth. Everybody said, Sing choir, sing. sing choir, sing. Oh, y'all gotta do better than that. Sing choir, sing. sing.
honor to the Mr. Shaw, to Mother Jackson, double shopping, to all of God's blessed people that are in the house today. I do pray when I thank the Lord that all this has been ringing. The goodness. The goodness. Oh, God. Those of you that have your Bibles, I want to thank the Lord for his mercy and his kindness and the Holy Ghost which he gave me one day. Because I asked for a lot. And every day I get up, my Lord Jesus, I want to keep it. Hallelujah. Pray for me, saints. Those of you that have your Bibles, turn with me to Deuteronomy 7 and 9. And then over to 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. When you get it, would you please stand to your feet if you're able? Deuteronomy 7 and 9. 1 Corinthians 10. And 13. Deuteronomy 79 reads, let's all read. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Let's read that one more time. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God. He is made keeping his covenant of love. Them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Amen. First Corinthians 10 and 13. But such as is common to man, but God is who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Most gracious and all that's God, as we come yes, before Lord. thee, we thank thee for one more time. Hallelujah, Lord God. We ask Jesus, Lord, that you would give your word, Lord God, Jesus, as you see fit, Lord God. Help us to do what pleases you. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, let the church say, Amen. Amen. I want to use for the subject of this morning, faithful. 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 God is faithful. He created Everything that you see. He created the heavens. He created the earth. He created the wind. He created the sun. He created the moon. He created the stars. He said, let there be light. And darkness had no capacity. God did that. Then he created male and female. He put them in a beautiful car. I didn't see it, but I read it. It was a beautiful, beautiful car. He didn't just put them there, he visited them. He went down in the cool of the day to talk to them in the garden. He loved them. When they sinned, did you hear? When they sinned, he didn't sin. When they sinned, he came down and closed. Come on, come on. He did ask him now, who told you you was naked? Who told you? But it didn't matter. They didn't even say, I'm sorry. They just said, who told you? And how they knew they were naked. Yeah. But he clothed them. Come on. Uh -huh. And then he allowed them. He put them out in the garden now. Because there's consequences to sin. Okay. You just can't sin and just go on. No. But he put them out in the garden, but he told them that they could grow. 
and multiply. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because he's faithful. Yeah. When men kind multiplied, God looked down and they became evil. Mm -hmm. Every imagination of their hearts is what they did continually. Mm -hmm. So God looked down and he said, Noah, Noah, build me an ark. Man is evil continually. Build me an ark. Noah said, okay. And he worked on that ark for 120 years. And I'm sure you saw somebody out there working on something that big. You want to go by and say, what you doing? What you doing? No, it's an ark. Why? Why are you building an ark? It's going to rain. Somebody may say, Sister Price, why are you preaching? There's no more water. But it's fire next time, y'all. He said, I'm coming with fire. Next time. But as Noah built the ark, they said, What's rain? No, we all know what fire is. Do you know what fire is? Fire burns. Fire hurts. A hundred and twenty years. They said, what's rain? They had never seen rain because the ground was wet from the bottom up. So they hadn't seen rain. But Noah said, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. And God gave us a wheel. We all got a wheel. Which means I can go this way. Or I can say no. I'm going to go this way. But the animals. The animals. He said go to the ark. He told the number of the ones. Go to the ark. And you know what they did? They went to the ark. Not like us. Can't build it. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. You, you would think they would have said, and even his own sons, his own sons and their wives. You know, sometimes the wives fuck. Come on, come on. Come sometimes on. the sons do too. Uh huh. But they didn't fuck. Dad said it's gonna rain. Dad said, God said it's gonna rain. Dad said to help me with the boat. I'm gonna help you with the boat. Dad said, get in the boat. I'm going in the boat. Honey, we going in the boat. Eight souls. Eight souls. Only eight souls. Out of the whole world, eight souls. Took their wheel and said, I'm going in the boat. God is faithful. God is faithful. Yeah. Man, after they got out of the boat, man continued to grow and evolve. Man said, man said, man said, let us build tower. We're going to go up here to the heavens. We're going up. We're going to get all together. Come on. We all talk in the same language. <laughs> we understand each other. Yeah. Let's build. Come on. We're going up to heaven. Okay. I don't know what they thought they was going to do when they got up there. Because so far, you can breathe. But you keep on going further. You can't even breathe. And they didn't know that. They didn't know that. But we're going to heaven. We're going to show this God. So they built a tower. And they started building that. Tower and God in his love confused their language. That was love to do that because if they got so far, they were going to die anyway. <laughs> they didn't know it, but they were going to die anyway. And then man began to call on God. And you know, like the choir just got finished singing, I don't know who's going to sing that, but when you call on Jesus. Uh, he will. He will. He will. He will. He will. Answer prayer. Yes. Yes. Down through the animals of time.
God has answered. He poured a people from a people and made them his people. And he told them what they can do and what they could not do. He told them how to walk. He told them what to say. He told them so that when Joseph had a dream, he saw his family bowing down to him. He didn't understand. He didn't understand. All he did is told the dream. You know, I like to tell stuff. He told the dream. Don't you think I'm a bow down? I'm not bowing down to you. He even had it again and he told his father. He saw his father bow down. He was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bow down to you. He didn't know it was all in the plane. They had to bow. Or they would die. Joseph was cast into a pit. Joseph was sold into slavery. Joseph worked in Potiphar's house. Got put in prison for something he didn't do. While he's in prison, he told him, remember me. And it took years and years and years. But because God is faithful, they remember Joseph. They brought him out of prison. They cleaned him up. Next thing you know, here come his brothers. And you know what they did, y'all? They bowed. They bowed. They bowed. They bowed. Hallelujah. Just like Joseph told them they were going to do. Even his own father. His own father. Because Joseph became second in claim. Because Pharaoh said, You interpreted my dream? Whatever he says to do, that's what you do. He helped the children of Israel to prosper and to grow. And then one day, he delivered them from Egypt. He brought them through the Red Sea. He fed them with manna. He gave them water when they were thirsty. He gave them water from a rock. When they rebelled, he had Moses lift up a serpent on a stick. If they would sing, all they had to do was to look up. All they had to do was to look up and live. Do you know some of them would not go to the bottom? God is faithful. God is faithful. All they had to do was to look up and live. Scripture says, God, who at some dry times and in diverse matters, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, right. have in these last days right. spoken unto us yeah. by his son, yeah. who we have appointed yeah. heir of all things, uh -huh. by whom also he made the world. Uh -huh. Because you remember, the scripture says, let us. Let us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Who be in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he by himself when he had by himself purged our sins. I wouldn't even hold Purged our sins. Sat down on the right hand of the majesty on the high being made so much better than the angels. He had by inheritance obtained a more ex excellent sacrifice than they. He's faithful. Jesus is faithful. When Julie was in her sins, she wasn't ready to die. Oh, my God. 
ought to be. Yes. All ye that are heavy laden, yes. and I will give you rest. Yes. Why? Because he's faithful. Yes. Yes. Why do we struggle to figure out my how? Yes. Jesus said,
is with me. And he will dwell with me. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. And be their God. And God shall wipe away. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Even when we did even when we did He is faithful. If you don't get anything else, get this today. He is He is He is faithful. Set to your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's faithful. He's faithful. What I